today, a former Ole Miss student, Austin Reed Edenfield, pleaded guilty to placing a noose around this James Meredith statue, which stands right here on campus. The misdemeanor charge says that Edenfield helped to threaten to intimidate African American students and employees here at the university. Now, one Ole Miss student actually happens to stand, sit right here every day, Monday through Friday, with a sign promoting um, equality and non-discrimination among all people. I was able to talk with him earlier today, and he shared his thought, thoughts on the guilty plea. He's grown from it. I do not know. I hope that he has grown from it from his sentencing. And it is a step in the right direction to show that this injustice and show of inequality and show of hatred, even in the, the most minimalist sense of just a noose in the face of the statue, will not be tolerated at, at the University of Mississippi. A U.S. District Court judge will sentence in Edenfield on July 21st. He faces up to one year in prison and a $100,000 fine. For Newswatch, Serena Henderson. Back to you guys in the studio. Ole Miss Chancellor Jeff Bitter and the NAACP will meet tonight to discuss the language on the Confederate plaque. The two will meet privately to discuss the language on the plaque that will soon appear on the ground in front of the Confederate monument in the Lyceum Circle. The university chapter of the NAACP issued a statement on its social media last Monday criticizing the proposed language on the plaque. Student body elections are just around the corner. Want to know more about how this year's election will work? Ariel Onstott joins us now with ASB Attorney General Loden Walker. Ariel. Petitions to become next year's ASB officers were due today. I'm joined by Attorney General Loden Walker to tell you what you need to know about this year's election process. Hi, Loden. How are you doing? Well, thank you. So tell me a little bit about this year's election process. What does one need to do in order to get involved and become a potential ASB officer? Cool. So there's really three major qualifications to run for an ASB officer, and that is your hours, lowest being secretary at 36, having a 3.0 GPA, and having one year of experience in ASB. Other than that, you file a petition, which we're due today, and then you're certified in certification meeting that following Monday, and then the Tuesday of the next week is election day, April 5th. So why is it important for students to vote in these elections? Well, it's important because voting is a fundamental principle of democracy and every vote matters on election day. It's a great way of holding elect elected officials accountable. And in my personal opinion, voting is your right, is exercising your right as a student, and it's the easiest and best way for your opinion and voice to be heard. And how is ASB trying to get students more involved in voting and participating in ASB elections? So really by raising awareness, um, we have some cool election innovations coming into play, kind of secrets, but I'll go ahead and share them with y'all. Like this year, there'll be four campaign zones, and so we're incorporating the Find Me Fountain as a campaign zone, which will be really cool. We're trying to have Snapchat, working with Snapchat to have a geotag, so the election day geotag. And then other than that, you know, word of mouth, um, we've contacted all organizations and just ra really raising awareness to, so people know that it is election day, and that you can vote. So, yeah. And uh, what are you hoping to see this election season? What would make it a success in the eyes of you and the rest of the Associated Student Body? So of course I'm, trying, I'm looking for competitively, competitively driven candidates, um, experienced, qualified, um, to, to be a, have a successful election. The Office of the Attorney General always wants to maintain just and fair elections. And so as long as everybody's following procedure in accordance, then elections shall be great. Thank you, Loden. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 